using this home automation pcb you can control your home appliances very easily this is eight node home automation pcb so in this way you can control total eight devices very easily and this pcb is based on the esp32 chip so you can make iot projects as well you can make projects using the popular iot platforms available like bling kme smart esp rain maker arduino iot cloud and many more and we all know ESP32 has Bluetooth connectivity inbuilt. In this home automation system, we can control our appliances through Android app and also from the manual switch buttons that we regularly do. And apart from this, we will also get the real-time feedback in the app. Is the appliances is on or off? This home automation system is very useful for those who do not have internet connectivity at their home. Only disadvantage of this home automation system is that we can only control our appliances in local area network, as in we are using Bluetooth only here. This PCB is available for purchase on my website that is technolabelectronics.com. I'll put the purchase link in the description. And if you don't have this PCB, even then you can make this project using ESP32 development mode and relay module. Use this circuit diagram to connect relay module to ESP32 and also connection of bulb and switches. In this video, I will explain the code, connection diagram, how to pair the app with the PCB and how to upload the code into home automation PCB. So I recommend to you watch the video till end. Before we move on, let me tell you about a fantastic tool that has made my PCB design process so much more efficient, LTM365. LTM365 is the first open electronic hardware development platform that fosters a secure and collaborative design environment. Whether you are working alone or with a team, LTM365 ensures everyone is on the same page. Key benefits of LTM365 is Data Management Store all your design data securely in one place with robust version control, ensuring everyone works with the latest file. Library Management Access millions of ready-to-use parts with up-to-date supply chain data, making informed design decision easier. Supply Chain Management Integrated BOM management with real-time data on parts availability and pricing helps streamline your production cycles. Collaboration Enable seamless collaboration with your team and manufacturers, reducing errors and speeding up the design process. And if you are a student and want to be job ready in electronics design, try LTM Student Lab. You will get free access to LTM Designer and LTM 365, so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in India. It's a great way to boost your skills and your resume. Just enter your university email to get started for free and learn real skills that lead to real jobs with LTM Student Lab. And benefits of this LTM Student Lab is, you will get free access to LTM Designer Student License and PCB Design courses, university level curriculum and course certified from LTM Education. Free access to power analyzer by Keysight. This is an amazing opportunity to gain industry recognized skills. Uh, thanks to LTM for sponsoring this video. For more details, check out the link in the description. To flash the code into this home automation PCB, I am going to use this ESP32 development board. Connect the PCB with ESP32 development board as per this connection diagram. Now let's move to the coding part of it. This is the code for today's project and this code is designed to control an 8 channel relay module using both physical switches and bluetooth commands. Let me explain this code in detail. These are the needed libraries that you need to add in your code. Uh, bluetooth serial.h This library is used to handle bluetooth communication on the ESP32. Acebutton.h This library is used for handling button press event efficiently. It simplifies the deep bounce handling and state change for manual button. This line that is using name space ace underscore button. This allows you to avoid prefixing everything related to ace button with ace underscore button. Serial BT. Serial BT is an instance of the Bluetooth serial class which is used for handling Bluetooth communication. Uh, here we define the pins for connecting the relays and switches to the ESP32. This variable tracks the state of each relay that is 1 for off and 0 for on. And also they help to manage the toggling of relays. Here each button is associated with an instance of Bluetooth config and ACE button. This setup helps manage each button behavior and events independently. These are the function prototypes for handling button events. Each button has its own handlers, which is defined later in the code. Uh, next here this function reads data received over Bluetooth, process it and toggles the appropriate relay based on the received character. Each case in the switch statement corresponds to a command to either turn a relay on or off. Uh, now in the setup function, first we initialize the Bluetooth that is ESP32 is initialized as a Bluetooth device with the name Technolab Smart Home. These are the pin configurations. The relay pins are set as outputs and the switch pins are set as the input with pull-up registers. Here in these lines, each button is initialized with its corresponding switch pin and event handlers are linked to manage the button which is pressed. 
Uh, now in the loop section, here we are checking if any data is available or not. If data is available from the Bluetooth connection, then it is processed by function Bluetooth handle. Here each button is checked for state change that is it is pressed or released. Uh, here if data is received over the serial connection, uh, likely for debugging, it is sent out over Bluetooth. These are the button handler function which manages the behavior of a corresponding button. Uh, that's all about the explanation part of the code. Now select the right board that is ESP32 day module and also select the right COM port. And then hit upload button to upload the code. After pressing the upload button, now on the PCB press and hold boot button and then press the reset button once to make the ESP32 go in boot mode. Here as you can see code is successfully uploaded into the ESP32. Now let's move on to the android app installation and pairing with PCB. Download this apk file from the description and then click to install the app. Click on install. Click on scan. Uh, here it will take few seconds to check if this apk file is safe to install or not. Uh, as you can see this app is safe to install. So install the app in your android smartphone and open. Allow these permissions to the app. Uh, now open Bluetooth setting of your smartphone and then click on pair new device. You will find a Bluetooth device as Technolab Smart Home. Tap on it and pair with your smartphone. Now open the app again. Click connect. Choose Technolab Smart Home. Now our home automation PCB is connected to the app through Bluetooth. Now let's connect the bulb and switches to the PCB and see how this home automation system will work. Connect 4 devices this side and 4 devices this side. And here connect all the switches. And one thing, be careful while making the connection. Use this connection diagram to connect all the bulb and switches. And if you don't have this PCB then use ESP32 and relay module for this project. And connect all the things as per this connection diagram. Uh, here I have connected all the bulb and switches to the PCB and it's ready to see in action. Here I have only connected 4 bulb and 4 switches for demonstration. Uh, now let's see how this will work. As you can see, I am able to control AC bulbs through my Android smartphone and also from the manual switch buttons along with the real-time feedback in the app. So if you don't have internet connectivity, then this project is for you. Code, schematic and APK file is available for download in the description. Download and make this amazing home automation system by yourself. And if you want to purchase this PCB, you can get it from my website, which is available in the description. And LTM Student Lab link is also available in the description. Go and sign up and start your electronic and PCB design services. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do consider subscribing my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. Bye bye. Take care.